Welcome back to the channel guys. So as you remember in the previous episode we have uh, successfully installed the M Technic side skirts and more or less buttoned up the, the exterior. And now uh, in this episode I would like to improve the, the comfort of this car. Uh, from fact it was equipped with the manual uh, windows. And I think in the hot summer day in a black car with the black interior it will be very uh, annoying to use the, the manual windows at least in, in the front. So what I have uh, opted for is to retrofit uh, power windows to this car up front only. And um, yeah, I think this is the the good addition to this car and they will make uh, the experience of driving the car that much uh, better. So without further ado, let's uh, get cracking. First order of business is to clean up this mess a little bit, our working area, and uh, then we will begin. Okay, now that the car is uh, clean, uh, let's have a look at what we have in terms of uh, parts. Uh, so here I have uh, laid out the wiring loom for the power windows on the body side uh, of the car. And the, or whatever is left of it, we can see it's been cut. Uh, but that's not a problem, we have what we need, we have all the plugs, we just need to repair them. As you can see somebody was tampering with them already. So we have the driver's side plug, uh, we'll see what we'll do about that one. And uh, yeah, this is the, the body side. Next I have the driver's side uh, door loom and this is the old loom that came with the car. I tried to repair it uh, a little bit but I did not end up using it because you can see the plug is completely mangled, corroded and the rest of it. But what it does have, it has the plug for the, for the power windows and the wiring so we will be I think harvesting that from here. Hopefully also the pins inside the connector over there are in good shape. Um, and then for the passenger side door, I don't have the, the actual loom, but I have the plug for the power windows from the rear doors, and we'll be reusing that. And on top of that, we also have some switches for the power windows. These are the illuminating ones, will be nice. And one thing I don't have is the circuit breaker. I don't know if I need to, uh, it's a 25 amp circuit breaker. Maybe I will install it later if I find the one. Um, otherwise I could just install the 25 amp fuse and be done with it. Anyways, that's the wiring part. Last but not least, uh, I have the early style uh, electric uh, power window lifters. As we can see, these are from a four door. They're different for two and four door and also uh, facelift and pre-facelift. Um, but yeah, we need to repair some wiring. Um, I've been assured that they are in working condition. To be honest, I have not checked them, uh, not tested them. Uh, so it will be very, very sad if they don't work. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, these are the parts. Now let's go ahead and uh, start figuring out, I think, the wiring first. This is what I managed to operate from the original uh, loom that came with the power windows. This is basically all I need. Uh, we have the two pigtails going into the driver or sorry passenger side um, A pillar uh, to the socket. We have the wire that goes uh, to the plug where we have the switch. Then they have the driver side. It goes all the way and then basically we need to source somewhere two more new pigtails for the socket and the A-pillar. The ground is not a problem. And then the this green, green blue wire, basically we need to find a either replacement or factory plug to go into the, let's see where we go, into the connector C100 and the 302. 
in the position Q. And uh, what else we have? We have the two wires for the switch breaker or circuit breaker, which is right here, in and out. Yeah, looking good. Let's move on to the next thing. For some of you who might not know, I'm using this uh, nice Tessa uh, tape. It's not cloth, it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of a material. Um, looks really good, uh, looks OEM, like on the newer cars. Um, and it's uh, abrasion resistant, heat resistant, water resistant, all sorts of resistant, really good. Uh, I did the entire engine loom uh, with this tape. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. And we'll use this one on uh, taping these wires. And just like that, it's repaired and uh, will not shave or anything. Let's really quickly check the motor, if it works. It does work. Very good. Um, I have already checked the other one and uh, they both work very well. Let's remove the center console here, so we can fire some wires. Careful not to break these clips. One or two. Very good. Okay, guys. So the next thing is uh, to wrap the the wires in a, in a tape, electrical tape, and then uh, we will snake them under the carpet. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> We have the pigtails prepared here. I pulled out the socket on the driver's side and we can see these two terminals are empty. And the black wire goes in the top, purple one goes in the lower one and uh, it will go back to the body. And I checked my driver's side door has the, the plug, now it's zip tied, but the door has the wiring for the power windows. So good. Let's put the wires in, Let's solder them to the actual wiring loom here and I think we will uh, be able to test uh, whether the switch works and everything else. And just like that. I have also soldered the ground and the power connection. I don't have the original plug so I used one of the, yeah, generic pigtails which should technically go somewhere in there I think it's uh, terminal Q uh, so let's plug it up <laughs> and see if it works <laughs> so I have uh, connected the wires there and the plug uh, I have connected the ground and the positive over there I have installed the window uh, lifter uh, and the glass also so yeah we have uh, ignition on we have light on a switch. Let's see if it works. So
so good. Okay, now let's do the other side and uh, I'll show you what I have done here. Okay, first thing we need to take off the trim here on the top. It just pulls out. Here we go. Next, we have to align the two bolts uh, over there that hold the, the glass to the frame uh, or to the sliders uh, in order to loosen them. And then we will slide the window out there. Okay, let's support the window with one hand so it doesn't come crashing on us. Okay, good. Now <clears throat> we should be able to lift one corner and slide from the other one. Come on. Yes. And that's it the window is out okay now we need to take out the the actual mechanical lifter on both six bolts one two three four five and six and then we'll snake it out So guys, I have added the, the missing plug for the power windows here to the main harness of the door. And uh, now we will just snake it through here and uh, move on to installing the lifter. Okay, so we have the, the mechanism here for the window. Let's snake it inside. How we can do this? Okay, so we have installed the, the lifting mechanism here, uh, all good, wired and routed all the looms, very nice. Then uh, as a reverse of uh, this assembly, we have these two uh, slots here where we need to install the window uh, bracket bolts. So that's uh, what we're going to do next. So good, coming along the way. Just about to connect the the body harness to the plug here on the back so as we remember the black one with the stripe is on the top the purple with the stripe is on the bottom and all connected now we can plug it back into the car plug it to the door and see if our window moves it down okay guys so everything is buttoned up more or less uh, let's check the switch works okay i think next thing that i want to do is i want to put the vapor barrier here so uh, i'm gonna go cut out the the piece of foil and then uh, we will glue it in i have already done on the other side uh, you barely can see it anyways 
let's get cracking so in order to cut out this vapor barrier i'm using the sound insulation from a door card uh, as a template it will be a bit oversized which is good and then i can trim it down uh, when it's on the door uh, i have bought the original bmw vapor barrier it wasn't too expensive it's made by a company called uh, kai premium marking films if anybody is uh, interested uh, vws and uh, the part number uh, is this one i'll leave it also in the description uh, it's quite good i have to say it's really nice uh, easy to work with it's quite forgiving so yeah let's cut it out and uh, slap it on the door Just wanted to do something fun and uh, rewarding so i thought uh, i will throw in this uh, parcel shelf into the car um, i have uh, some time ago actually a long time ago restored uh, patched up all the holes uh, all the brakes uh, retrimmed it with the new material here installed the premium sound speakers i also have the front and uh, yeah let's get it in there Now we just have to snake through the belt. Come on. There you go. Now we need to snake in the, the cover here without breaking anything. Let's see if we manage. And just like that now we need to clip it in seat it finally and we'll be done so guys the parcel shelves looks amazing power windows working and i think this will be the end to this video guys thanks for watching and subscribing and see you next time bye bye